Sorry about the delay on that, folks. Had a technical difficulty, so we had to like restart everything, but we're good now.
learned how to I learned how to drive in five minutes. I had my car for five years, and I drove and I taught several other people how to drive in my car. The only reason I don't have my car is because someone ran into the back of it while I was parked in front of my house. Wait again? No, this is the same car. No, I know who did it. <laughs> Wait, do you know the person? Do you know who I'm trying to teach? I don't think you do. setting on the Elgato itself. I think when I mess with everything, it defaulted back to 30 frames a second. Oh. <laughs> so even though I'm broadcasting 60, I'm actually only recording and, and streaming 30. Uh, well, that might be something we can adjust after this match. In the meantime, GL 809 trying to put the old uh, Karine 1 2 over on War Machine there. Yeah, not working. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's working so well for him. Oh, yeah. Into the corner. Last place you want to be versus Rog. Oh, nice crush counter, though. Oh, he couldn't follow up. That's gonna cost him. You know, it's typically a good idea to not run into his fists. Yeah, usually. Oh, nice catch. Ah, oh, but a wake up jab. All right, here we go. The GL wants to get back into this. He's gotta turn it around right now. He's almost in full V-meter, full critical art. <laughs> Body checking the fist, I like it. At this point, though, all it's really going to do is even out the life totals. If that. Barely. Oh, there even. we go. Get off me. Yep. Oh, nice catch. Oh, not enough to kill him, though. Nice. Well done, GL. Somebody's not a fan of moving to Duff City. Nope. Final round. Fight. Because you're not walking away without a few scratches. <laughs> Oh, GL's not bearing so well this 
time around. Looks like he got downloaded. Oh! He got, got peed on. That's uh, quite the way to end it. And GL goes down. smoother. I think we're back to full power. Oh, meanwhile, on the other screen, we got a we got a good old-fashioned Abigail versus Bison match. You know, like your kids were talking about. Is that what you call this? But yeah, we got a wake up smell the DP rocking an Abigail versus Nick T and his Bison. I'd imagine. I'd imagine both of them not doing uh, very well with their chosen characters. Is it on? It ought to be. There it goes. Well, fight's over now. <laughs> Nice and one. So we gotta restart. So yep. not, 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 not anything to do with the stream. So that one, hold it down. Console froze. Game. 
I get this. Craig, you lazy butt. Pretty sure that's not the thumbnail you want. I, I just changed it earlier. I don't know what else to do. It takes a minute. If it isn't one thing, it's another. Yep. That's right, at least this went down during the anniversary stream. Oh, that would have been awful. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Okay, so basically it's just the, the, the image didn't change. Yeah. But you got, like, in that instance, you have to have to refresh for it to, like, or refresh your uh, YouTube thing for it to do. set to auto update. I so thought I, I did too. Here. I thought I did too. No. <laughs> I make sure the Elgato's actually having, having audio. Okay, sorry about that. First the internet crapped out on us, then we weren't getting sound from the actual capture card, and then the actual system itself just, just decided to stop. It froze. So now we're back, we're back, back, back. This is the kind of shit that makes me want to get a pro. <laughs> the pro has similar problems. Really? Yeah. Whoops. 
Things might load 10% quicker though. <laughs> We've got XDSC Hitman versus Weapon X. Yep. That sure is what's happening right now. So this is probably going to be over pretty quick. Uh, Hitman's not one to fuck around when he sees blood in the water. Hey man, you got to give the opponent some credit. Oh yeah, it's Halloween, motherfuckers! That's probably one of the best costumes in this whole game, the one that Nikali's wearing. Alright, here we go. Devil versus Wolfman. Who will win? I thought he was a centaur. I don't know. Bull guy. No, no, he's definitely he's definitely a, a, a devil, if not a demon. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of a fast round. Oh yeah. I told you, man. Hitman isn't gonna mess around when he when he when he smells free in the air. Mm. I looked away for a moment and it's like, oh, round two. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, and the cow, he, he, he's trying uh, to keep his distance right now because he's getting smacked. D DP is likely will pass along your message to uh, to combat here in just a minute. Yeah, once he's done mopping the floor, we'll let him know. Yo, we Weapon X is going to need that B trigger. Oh no! Not when you run into oh a stuff like that. Oh my god! He was like, please do discus. Please do discus. It laughs at him. Dude, that color. Yo, someone uses Firefox. Kind of. Reminds me of Rick and Morty, that little butter passing robot, but it has Internet Explorer on it. Yep. What's my purpose? You install Chrome. Install Chrome. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Wow. Somebody got. Somebody didn't appreciate that last round. I told you, need that feature. Oh, wow. Interesting, uh, interesting combination of hitboxes there. Oh. oh, nice. Throwing out of the V reversal. What's funny is that his V reversal is him yelling, but Bison's grab is him putting his hand over your mouth. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so he literally shut him up just to throw him. He's like, no, none of that. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, you oh. can't throw that out. Oh, no. That's it. That's going to be it. Get put against the wall. Ugh. This cape looks like a rug from that high angle. Well, that's what you do with wild animals. You kill them, you stuff them, and you put them on the ground. All right, here we go. Let's see if uh, Weapon X can turn this one around. Oh, wow. Let's just walk up slowly and anti-air you and then blast you into a combo. Do it again. We're done. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Get thrown. Don't get peed on. Don't get up. Oh. That's no. not perfect, though. Knees oh. to chest. He's like, go ahead and turn off your hurt box. This will be waiting for you when you come back. Yep. <laughs> he gets hit by purple stuff from the real guy. The match ends. He gets launched into more purple stuff from the stage transition. He tried to throw out that meaty, uh, that meaty drummer knee. Oh, don't feel bad, Ross. As long as you had fun or you enjoyed yourself, yeah, that's man, what's I, important. Like my best night here has been like two and two. So I mean, like it's all about just having fun. My best night is making fun of everybody else at their discretion. See, like right there, I did it again. He's gonna yell out. He's like, no, stop that. Get in timeout. 
Yeah, how about his head? Oh yeah. my god, I forgot you could do that in the air. Yep. So not only if, and he, if he chipped did, him out with it. Yeah, I was like, if no, if that didn't hit him, he would have chipped out, but like he said, yeah, he got chipped out. So XDSC Hitman took that in a really, really, really convincing fashion. Oh yeah. Yeah, message. Yep. DP says he played you last night. You can play it. Yo, this is Hitman. Shout out to DP is life. Good games yesterday. We'll train more, brother. See, he told you we can pass your message along. Yeah. We, we are commentators for the people. So, we're going to get our next fight for you guys up and running in just a few moments. Alright, so we, we, we've got a loser's round coming up now. Okay, who we got up next? Oh, geez, that's yeah, that that camera. It's not. I think there we go. I think it's about, it's about as uh, about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, pretty much. All right. You can see our lovely mugs here for a few moments here. All right, so we have Ryan Vile. And it is it's vile, and it is spelled like. The villain for Mega Man X. And who we got up next? I'm just gonna let you read this. So we got Ryan Vile versus Fake News Pluto. Yep. All right, Fake News Pluto. You, you realize that I have to edit that out later. Fake News Pluto, a.k.a. Eli, a.k.a. Jupitard. Oh, that's his playing. Yep, there he is. There's the man that makes me edit, edit my tournament registry every week. All right, so this ought to be a good slobber knocker. I would say both of these guys are about on the same level. I haven't actually seen a fake news Pluto. I can't believe he went to that. I haven't seen him play lately. I don't know if he's gotten any better or worse or if the rust is still set in. Well, you know that you know that Eli has he has solid theory at the very least. Like he, he know you know I've never heard a person <laughs> shout the word Oki more. Like, <laughs> I think Ryan Vile has, has some like tiny Japanese high schooler shouting for him in the background. Ryan Gambate! That hair is distracting. <laughs> Basically every form I've seen of Mikali tonight has just been a villain from Diablo. Oh, nice. All right. Dash up and grab you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lords are definitely worth being scared of. <laughs> Although, last I heard, Eli was rocking Nikali as his primary character, so. We'll see if he can figure out the game plan. Oh. The game plan should be don't get hit. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be accomplished by whiffing uh, ground pounds. Uh, oh! Oh, oh! Surprised that wasn't an elbow. Yep. Oh! There's nothing beats standing medium, though. Uh oh! <laughs> Woo! 
You can see Pluto there evaluating his resources and just going, nah, you know what? Jump in. Oh. oh no. Oh man! Let's go! Nice catch! Let's go! Um that was cool, but now you have exactly no resources against a character who has armor moves. Yeah. And you know, can just get in whenever she wants. No, you don't see that this is a challenge. This is this is Takamura using only his left. Okay. You have and no idea what I'm talking about, do you? It's more of it's not working. <laughs> I know who you're referring to. Okay. He's just getting smacked around. Oh. See? There you go. He was looking for a nice combo into his V trigger and it just didn't happen. It, it, it didn't work so hot. Definitely eating a few choice shots here tonight. Oh! Good, good job. You back away from that projectile. Oh, yeah. Up. Ah, but now I'm still sticking in the, I'm sticking in the mouth. Wow. Pluto eating that overhead quite a bit. And catching an EX I man grabbing a DP for it. Oh, get off me. Away with you, Kerr! <laughs> Talk about your neutral game. Well, he dashes that twice and grabs him. Oh, wow! Oh, no! Wow. That could have gone better. I, I don't think Ryan planned that, but congratulations on him for adapting to it. <laughs> Whether you plan it or not, if it works, that's the important part. Ow. Oh, it disappeared right as he got up. The man grab. What's the mix up? Oh, hmm. man. Get off me. There it is. Ah. Oh! Armor two, you, armor two, you're normal. All right, are we gonna see it at attempting the critical art? It could kill at this percentage. Well, you have to land a hit first, and Thank that you. ain't it. On the overhead once again. So, Ryan Val takes it over fake news Pluto, 2-0. Meanwhile, on the other setup, we've got uh, Light Bright JPEG playing A Chef. A nice little Akuma claw match. Damn! And Light Bright is cleaning up! The proud exclamation of a female came into a guy to suck her dick. G.I. Jane would be proud. Uh, possibly. <laughs> Who do we have up next? Oh, so it looks like Nuggets getting set up. Who shall be his opponent? Looks like Taco Supreme, maybe? Really? Oh no, it's uh... It's Stunner. Oh boy. So Nugget playing against Stunner? No, it looks like it's going to be Stunner and Pensive Sloth. I think Nugget might have just been sitting down to, to sit down. Okay. <laughs> hey Kev, what's happening brother? Oh, okay. Uh oh. Hey Kev, why aren't you here? The other two are here. You got to come the quickly. Two. No, the other two, they got to come. You know, Nick and Alan are oh. You gotta complete the trilogy. Oh! All right, it is a one-one situation over on the A Chef Light Right stage. Oh, 
So give us a sec, folks. We're waiting for the action, the other opponent yep. to show up so we yeah, can actually the, get started. The, these players, the people you see on camera are not the players. Okay. Well, one is. Oh. Oh, Claw's getting boned right now. All right, we finally got our opponents. Oh, it's cereal sauce. I thought it was pensive slaw. Is it? Hey, Carlos, isn't it, isn't it slaw? Oh, okay, it hadn't updated yet. Hey, who won that? Who won that? Who won? You! I don't know. Damn it. All right. So it looks like a chef won the uh, won the fight won the fight there. It was not without uh, fantastic effort on Lightbright's part, however. That's right, that's right, that's right. When you don't care, you can't get mad. All right, Kev, I'll see you at Donato's tomorrow. Well, hopefully you will be. Hopefully he will. Hopefully he will show up. So I can play that Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, remember that? Okay. Well, it looks like I'm out. Enjoy the, enjoy the beatdown stylings of Stunner and Cereal Sauce. Let's see how well this shakes out. Well... And from the start, Stunner's establishing pretty good presence of dominance. Haven't got hit yet. And as soon as I say that, he gets drop kicked out of the sky. Wake up, flash kick. Summer, he can do that suplex. Oh, snuffs out that overhead. And... Uh-oh. See, people? This is why if you bring a controller to a tournament, you desync the moment your match is over so you don't run into a situation such as this. Or you do the smart thing. You play with a wired controller. Not a controller with a plug that you can plug into. I mean a wired controller like a stick or a pre-made controller. Okay. The fact that they're pad players isn't the problem, Kevin. The problem is people who don't desync their controllers when they're done. So we keep having stuff like this happen. It happens way more often than I care to admit. This is standard rules, guys. So, it's not pad players that are a problem. It's negligence that's the problem. If you're going to come to a tournament with a controller that isn't a stick or that isn't wired, it is your responsibility and your duty to make sure that you desync that thing after each and every single fight. Each and every single fight. But, enough of the ramblings about people not knowing how to operate their machinery. Right now, I watch Stunner kind of put it on cereal sauce. Alright, so...
So Cyril, I guess, took that brief reprieve to like collect himself because uh, Stunner is uh, getting tossed around and is getting dangerously close to Stun, ironically enough. Is he going to get it? No. Oh. Well, he's not going to get Stun. He'll just get the death. So he gets around. Oh, no. Don't hit a button. Why'd you hit a button? She's super safe after that. That was good. I have the Sonic Hurricane for good measure. Oh, beautiful anti-air. I love that he's willing to do that. London Bridge. Oh, he missed that backhand. Grab. Where was the punish? She had, she had a hell of a recovery after that. Nice box. Good. All right. Get in the corner. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, whiff, grab. Get smacked out. And you don't punch her in the top of the head. That's that kind of punch you see if you're in a club and people have too much to drink and they start fighting and they throw chairs. Somebody's going to get punched in the top of their head. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, man. I want to see a back breaker. You jump up in the air. You bring her down. One, and give him that London Bridge. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Don't be throwing him out like that, sir. Hmm. All right, good corner carry. Oh, man, whiffing the command grabs. Getting beat up for it every time. Really? All right. He tried. All right. So, Stunner's momentum might have been messed up, quote-unquote, for a little bit, but he seems to have gotten it back. Now let's see if Serial Sauce can actually do something about it. Yes, unless he gets, you know, just smacked around. Like, he owes people money. All right, good opening. Good play of the spacing game. Now, Mika does have a couple ways to get through it, but you got to time it and know it's coming. But he manages to get in. Up, oh, wake up to flash kick, because why not? I mean, it's like we're playing Street Fighter 4 or something. Oh, but jump in with no anti-air. No, man, you can't push a button. Can't push a button. All right, nice. Get him in the corner. It's a mix-up. Oh, he saw it coming. Say so he realized. Hey, he likes to wake up flash kick. Oh, no. Stunner got stunned. The irony is not beneath us. All right. He's playing a good game with uh, get, avoiding the fireballs to get in. Nice anti-air jab. All right. Interesting trade. All right, Stunner's playing a bit more cautiously now. Tries to cross up. Nice. Bait that jump. This is Street Fighter 101. Throw out a projectile, you jump over. I'm going to knock you out the sky. All right, good. Uh, misses the second follow-up. Mmm, that was tricky. Don't get stunned again, Stunner. Don't get stunned again. Oh, no, you got stunned again. Face first. What's the finish? What's the finish? Finish your plate. All right. And Cereal Sauce finally gets himself on the board. 1-1. One, one. I guess uh, he didn't take too kindly of that last match. Yo, what's with your hair, Mika? I can't see you. It's just all yellow. <coughs> Going right back into it. Let's see if uh, Stunner can uh, learn anything from this. And the first thing he should be learning is don't get hit. All right, that was, a, that was a nice attempt at anti-air. All right. Mmm, too far. Run the bridge. Oh, man, this is uh, overhead your knees. Don't put, oh, man, you can't push a button. He keeps falling for that. She does the drop, she does the drop kick and then hits a button afterwards and he gets smack. Try the uppercut. Uh-oh. Nice, try to grab him. Get some distance. I appreciate that. Use the EX flying piece to get out of there. Uh-oh. Great anti-air. 
So, Zero Sauce, one round away from taking it. Oh man, he keeps falling for that. Don't hit a button. He yep, he falls right again. Anti air. Oh, he misses the grab fall though. What's the win? All right, get big damage. Uh, don't drop it. Nice overhead reset. Don't hit a button, Kevin. All right, he did not hit a button this time. All right, that's good. All right. No. Why? Why would you do that? You can't do that. If you see, if you see it going, you don't throw out a flash kick. It might work, but chances are it's not going to. I mean, so I can say it. Uh, All right, folks, we got our next match coming up here. Is HF versus Simpkins. Oh, never mind. So we got a slight switch up. Next match is going to be our Rob TV versus Ocelot Youth. Push down. Hey, Rob! You're up! You're playing. Let's go. 73 matchup. Ryan Bella. Top Just waiting for our contestants to actually, you know, show up and play the game. Stick Melee is fighting it out right now in another setup. It's looking kind of close. I'd show you if I could, but there are people in the way, so I can't get a clear shot of the TVs. So now that our opponents have actually, you know, gotten to the game so they can play, Rob TV versus Ocelot Youth, they're going to have Cammy. Huh. That's different. So, Jerry. All right, Matt won. Good for him. 
he'll have to get up again to play another game. Which means I'll be on my commentary by alone one more time, at least. So, is he having like a character crisis or something? All right, that's more like it. I'm gonna say like, uh, what is he picking? That's not Birdie. Then he picks Birdie. Again, folks. Just waiting for them to like hit. There we go. Like waiting for them to hit a button so he can play the game. We can play the video game. <laughs> All right. Butcher Birdie versus Swim Cert Laura. All right. There's a whole lot of swinging and missing right now. Oh, way swinging and miss there. Oh no, you can't throw that wheel kick out. You get EX command grab by Birdie for your troubles and lose like a third of your health, or a fourth of your health. All right, good anti air jab. All right, so Oslo Youth doing a really good job. Well, at least he was doing a really good job spacing out with his normals. Keep Laura out because Laura wants to get in your face. But then when she gets in, he gets that EX command grab. And then the regular command grab for the KO. So, oh, names are backwards. It's like, I just realized the names are backwards. <laughs> but just like that, Oslo Youth gets around off. So he's doing a really good job with spacing his out normals. See, a lot of people not realize that. If you hit Laura before the projectile fully comes out, the projectile will disappear. Like right there. He hit her before he was able to actually shoot all the way out. And plus that move has armor, so he would have gone through anyway. <coughs> Ooh. Fortunately, he spaced that enough to the point where he wasn't able to punish it. Mmm. All right, it's good. Very nice. Oh man, the footsie game right now. See, Rob needs to kind of got a way to get in with Laura. I mean, she has the two, she has the tools. It's just very difficult. Like Birdie has a lot of stuff that can keep her out. It's great spacing, great spacing, good patience on his part. Hmm, no anti air. All right, interesting choice. He just want to like. Oh no, he can try to jump over the wheel kick. Yeah, good job. Not push a button, but he gets thrown. One more move and it's either for over for No! Oh man. You walk all the way to the range of that grab and then you just get shin kick. So I saw you takes a it takes a game. 1-0 so far. So Rob has a lot of characters under his belt. Is he gonna stick with Laura, or is he gonna say, screw this, I wanna win and play and actually switch to Karen? What's it gonna be? Oh no, right back into it. Under the skies of the, in the lights of Aurora Borealis. We're gonna beat each other to death. Oh man, each one's afraid to approach the other. Uh oh. Okay, see. Right now, they're both trying to inch into the max range of their attacks while also avoiding getting hit by the other person. But right now, they're both in each other's range. Nice anti-air. Gets thrown. Oh, man. Nice block away. All right. No command grab. What's the mess up afterwards? Nothing. All right. Easy extra figure. Hmm. Command grab. Oh, that was a nice setup. He was just a smidge too early with it. And Rob TV takes around. around. 
All right. Tries to out the chain. You know, just see if he can catch him doing something. But, just like that, Rob TV's in. But, he's able to actually keep him out. Man, this, uh... Hmm. Birdie can win this matchup. He just has to be very selective about what normals and what moves he throws out. Because of like that, with very with just one mistake, Laura's in your face and you're getting chucked. But as soon as I say that, Shiki's throwing in the corner. Really? Critical art. All right. Not dead. If he was any other character, if he was if he was a lesser character, that would have killed him. Cancel. Do it again. Okay, just a regular one. That's fine. Save that meter. Well, he didn't have the meter, but you know, walk up shin kick. So, Rob TV finally gets a game. I'm saying that like he doesn't win. He wins all the time. But it's nice to see that they both got something on the scoreboard. Let's see if there's going to be an adaptation made on Ocelot Youth Park. Uh-oh. Back to character select. We going to see a change of, change of character, change of scenery, change of costume? Or are we just going to need a minute to get our, get our, get our breath? Take a moment. Oh, change the scenery. All right. You know, if they could hear the music, I would probably say, like, you know, you should go to the best stage in the game, Hillside Plaza, because stage two's music is so good. Okay, so change the locale and change the costume. He was rocking the, uh, the Butcher Birdie. Now he's going with the, the Steve Harvey slash... Freddie Mercury, if he really let himself go, Birdie. With default Laura. She's like, nah, I don't need to look any sluttier than I already do. You can catch these hands and these knees as is. <laughs> oh no. You can't be whiffing that on start. That jump in, that's like almost the fourth of your health, sir. And that is the third of your health. It's uh, isn't it looking so hot for uh, Ocelot Youth right now? Uh, uh, uh. What's the mix up? There it is. Oh man, don't get peed on. Don't get peed on. Okay, good. You didn't get peed on. It sucks that you got smacked around as quickly as you did, but at least it wasn't a perfect. I just hope you can make some adjustments, Ocelot man. Nice anti air. Oh no. Every one of his normals, he misses, which while he leads into a jump in, he's finally able to get her off of him, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Mm, good elbow. All right, get in that corner. How are you going to handle this overhead? Oh, man. You throw the media out too soon, you get grabbed out of it. Uh-oh. Is that it? Is that it? No, 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 not yet. Now it is. Oh, man. Just like that. Rob TV takes it. 2-1 over Ocelot Youth. It wasn't as free as I thought it was going to be. He actually, Ocelot Youth did actually put up a bit of a fight for that little bit. I don't know if he ran out of steam or if Rob just said, hey, you know what, I'm tired of getting hit and tired of losing. So he's going to kick it up a notch. We, I'm not sure. So we're going to get our next match up here going for you folks. Looks like we're going to have Taco Supreme. Who is he going to be fighting? Next up, we got Taco Supreme versus Nugget. Again, waiting for them to actually show up and play the video game. It's like they know who's playing, yet they decide, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna go off. I'm just gonna just chuck it up with other people. 
Are they gonna play the game? Play the video game? All right, we're playing the video game now. That's me. How'd you do? Uh, it was two and one. Okay. Did you win? I did not. All right. <laughs> Nine, nine watches. I'm not sure what this is. How do I have to change it? Taco and Nugget in the championship. Wait, are they? No. It's, oh, I was so like, wait. It's not what? in quarterfinals. Yeah, but so like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think winner three is appropriate. Yep. All right, folks, I am back. Uh, I had a, I had a pretty good run tonight. Um, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> just year, years of playing on pad, it, it just, they just stuck with me, I guess. Actually, I had my glasses off the entire uh, for, for like the last two uh, games. Yeah. Huh? Magic Melee. Yeah. Looks like Nugget's going to be bringing his claw, and uh, Taco's got his Ryu today. I didn't even know he had a Ryu. I think almost everyone has a pocket Ryu. Mm. Or at least can have a pocket Ryu. No, if anything, everybody got a pocket Ken. It's like a... It's like a... a Ratatouille. You know, anyone can cook, but it's like, you know, Ryu Tutui. Anyone can Hadouken. That was awful. <laughs> everybody, just because everybody can cook doesn't mean everybody should. <laughs> Man, you're hitting your kicks a little too early when you jump. There you go. That's the jump in. Because he was trying to do it earlier. I'm like, dude, you're hitting your kicks on the way up, not the way down. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. A lot of claw switching and oh, um, so you can get different type of combos. Yeah, I'm not, also I'm not wall really jumps. sure why anyone would uh, uh, why why you would take uh, Vegas claw off. Yeah, more frame advantage. Uh, well, it depends. Frame advantage and it comes out faster. To unhand me, Nave. Cool exchange. Yeah, unhand me. I, I would live to see more. Uh, or uh, Rival Schools 2 themed costumes in the future for this game. I'd like to see more Rival Schools, period. That would also be good. Well, you know, Capcom is the company that, that prides itself on burying properties that, that are profitable. Mm. Well, speaking of being buried, yep. Taco's getting Someone's hit by that. in the ground. Not quite. Oh, all right, you get thrown for your troubles. Oh, see, if he, if he saw that coming, he could have Barcelona, he could have Barcelona rolled under that. But I'm glad to see that somebody remembers that they have a character that plays an air, has an air grab and actually uses said air grab. Yeah. Hey, it's Bam Bam Schweiki in the chat. I don't know who that is. It's two strokes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice air thrown done by uh, Top Supreme. Two's girl is here to make wildly inappropriate comments about Two's body. Well, nice super mate, super use. Get out of the corner. Let's see if we can stay out of the corner. Hard. You know, you can do that. Okay, I appreciate the effort. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's about time. Uh, Vega deserves a Wolverine tribute style costume. Who? Vega. What's a Wolverine? <laughs> Unhand me. But no, seriously, like. I, I, Ryu, Ryu does look like a, like a, pro, like a uh, Project Justice character. I just can't remember who. Uh oh. Probably yeah, someone named Gatsu. Yeah, there we go. Well, I mean, you can still claw switch, it just won't do anything. Yeah. Get off me. Oh! Uh, throw him in the corner. Oh, 
We got double Vega win on the screen. Nice. Not the, not the whole thing, though. No. <laughs> so, back to character select screen. Alright, how goes this in and up? The Devil versus Zoro. Who will win? That, that just sounds like a Zoro movie right there. Like Zoro versus the Devil. Like when you run out of like low grade, like leftover from the Spanish American War, like villains to fight. Like, who are you really going to fight in that era? Well, the Colonials? You could. <laughs> oh, nice wall battle. So Tim Curry's devil right now is kind of getting smacked around by, by Zorro. I don't know. It reminds me more of the devil at the end of uh, uh, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> have, you, have you not seen that? It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> I saw it once. So, I, oh, I kind of oh. feel like everybody just, they're just kind of hitting stuff and hoping something lands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice touch. Oh, right in the bread basket with all four fingers. <laughs> all right, just, just stab for your troubles. I could also see uh, Vega getting like a Kamina costume. That would be interesting. Oh, nice. Caught him with the nice. He delayed his wake up so he could avoid the wake uh, the the mix up. Yep. Mm. Oh. See, the one weakness about Bison, unfortunately, is since he only has one overhead, and that's a stomp into you know the Devil's Reverse. So oh. everything else can be blocked crouching. Oh. Oh. He was not blocking that. No. Get off me. It's like you're gonna feel these hooves, son. Oh. Uh, give me your face. Lay down. I'll suck your soul out of your mouth. Fight. Alright, here's the, here's the big deciding factor here. If Nugget can pull off another convincing victory, then uh, the, the round, the game, the match is in. Ooh. Get shit out of here, Lamont! Yeah. Lamont, get the shit out of here! Ooh. He said, here, have all this Kool-Aid. Oh. No. no. Oh! Damn, he, he pureed right in front of him. He pureed right in front of him and said, do something. Yo, all right. Is, is Nugget about to take down the Taco Supreme Bison? Well, not from back there, he's not. I don't know. Oh. That's all right. Use the B-trigger to keep himself safe. Go back across the screen. Oh! 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 <laughs> well, unfortunately. Damn! Wow. Taco got out of there in the quickness. Yo, Nugget, Nugget said, I got you this L for your birthday, son. <laughs> The moment that grab connected, he said, I'm out, and was just gone. Yep. We, we couldn't even transition fast enough to, to see Taco on film. <laughs> on film, on screen. Yo, get back in there and say hi to Bandera's wife. There we go. Oh, he loves Bandera's wife. He's saying hi to you. <laughs> so, who do we have next? Uh, a good question. Where's the bracket guy at? Would you like to talk to your girlfriend? Hitman like wants to say something to your girlfriend? <laughs> Good boy. I love you, Kathleen. Bye. <laughs>
Gets the quick shout out in. All right, we've got up next XDSC Hitman versus War Machine. I don't know why people hate me. It's some of the other characters. I got the right side and everything. It's always nice when those line up. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Oh, that was a, that was a winner's fight. Oh, okay, good. We're good. We're fine. Oh, so is this one. He's still winners round three. Yay! Bracket lining up and nice everything. Two matches. I believe he's referring to War Machine and XD uh, Hitman. I mean, See, funny thing is, they're, inver they're in inverted. Their yeah. colors are inverted. Yeah. Why y'all two got inverted colors? <laughs> Look at them. Inverted colors. <laughs> I, I don't know. So you thought, that's the mind game. What are we? The blips and the charts. <laughs> you know, Balrog needs a freaking Halloween costume if anybody can. Uh, probably something like a like a like a Minotaur or a Frank. Well, no, uh, Nash already has Frankenstein. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so this is a classic matchup. Both of these guys very, very skilled with their respective characters. As we all know, Bison has a, uh, a very steady offense, but you cannot discount Boxer at all. Two nope. hits. Two hits. There's one. Yeah, really. That was a tap. He, yeah. I, I would, I would love it if if you went full turn punch. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ow, ow. Oh no, it wasn't enough. Oh no, he went for the reset. That's what it was. Oh. Oh man, he got right around that whole trap. Oh! Smacked him with that great Kool Aid. Yeah, but reverse from behind. Into the corner with War Machine. Oh! Nope, get off me. Uh oh! Unhand me. Oh, he was gearing up for something. Oh, that was a good thing because that was about to be a real hard hit. Oh, yeah. Oh! Uh oh! Oh, my goodness. Him man is just nailing people with that critical art today. Gotcha! <laughs> now, how you gonna act? Get off me! You're gonna wear the hat, son! You're gonna wear the hat! Wear the hat! Ah! Cross up! So? Uh, you gotta feel kinda bad for Bison. Let's see if uh, War Machine is going to make any adjustments. War Machine, or not War Machine. Bison has got to spend six hours in the chair every morning getting that makeup on. <laughs> oh! Oh, we are going back to character select. All right. Hey, my bad, guys. So, who will be picked? We know Dawson's in there. I'm not against 
that, but I don't know y'all are going up like that. <laughs> that, that, sounds, that, pirate, that. That sounds more like a, akin to a statement of like, you cowards don't even smoke crap. Like, that's something's off. Oh, Urian's coming out. Oh, shit. It's about time he played this again. But where's the Gil costume? What the fuck? You only pull out Gil if it's a third strike fight. Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> Once again, desync your controllers. I cannot, 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 cannot stress this enough. So once again, a desync issue. Fortunately, not even one blow had been struck yet, but this could still be a little bit of a mental shakeup. You know, you can only tell people so much. Meanwhile, on the opposite setup, we have 
Dark Zero Omega versus GL809. These training buddies. Oh. Both of these men fighting their way out of the loser's bracket. The Satoichi taking a taking a round off of uh, off of Dark Zero. Let's see if we can get this around. Yeah, there we go. Karin, clear life lead. Oh, strong offense. Is he going to be able to take this? Uh oh. Reverse offensive. Oh. Right now, right now, GL could trade his way to victory. And he got him. Damn. Dark Zero, what happened? All good, man. An unfortunate turn of events for the man providing us our internet for the evening. Yes. But, but my goodness. Con congratulations to, to GL809 on a, on a convincing win over, uh, over a very experienced player. See our lovely mugs again. Way, we, when you're out and about in uh, in German Village, eat at Thurman's Cafe for no other reason than I like them. Get yourself a Thurminator. If it won't, if it doesn't kill you, then uh, congratulations. No, it will kill you. It's just a matter of will it do it quickly or will it do it eventually. Yeah. I was like, oh, trust me, you will die. All right, so waiting on our next match here. Ocelot Youth putting his uh, putting his, his his demon biker shit up back on again. I'll be right back. I have to uh, use the bathroom. Fair enough. Be back, folks. You gotta dog the water. All right, so. There we go. From this camera angle, I can do the Abigail Perry. All right, who's, who's playing, Los? All right, so we got. Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. Mr. U, yep, Mr. U and uh, GL809. Alright guys, we are going to throw it to the players. Okay, we are about to do this thing. Oh, 
Hey, use a good costume. Use a good costume. The audio? What's going on guys? We're Rob TV over here with my guy Matchstick. What's up? And right now we have uh Ocelot Youth, a birdie player going up against none other than my boy Eric. I would say his uh tag, but it's stupid. So GL809? That that doesn't have a ring to it. GL809. There's no ring to it or I anything. Just call like him GL, that. like Green Lantern. Green Lantern? Yeah. Okay, GL, that's dope. Yeah. But uh so historically Brian will be the favorite here. Oh yeah. Obviously for one as a just as far as like as a player and as far as the character matchup. But the last time these guys played in tournament, Eric won. So Eric has Eric that. coming off of a hot streak tonight. He beat uh, Dark Zero Omega just a minute ago. Yeah, very impressive. So let's if see can, if he can retain that level of focus, then he can probably uh, fight his way out. I'll tell you what, tonight. momentum means a lot in tournament. Oh hell yeah! You get that belief in yourself, and anything can happen. Oh, oh wow, yeah. great read, oh, but he drops the punish. All right, Ocelot playing his usual game of, of, of bait and wait. Yeah, definitely. And look at that. This is why this matchup is so good for Birdie. He plays it slow, press a few buttons in neutral, and once he does get a hit, that woman's life bar yep. is gone. Great that time. crouching great. roundhouse, so meaty, so good. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, after it's spaced out far enough, most people can't really punish you. True. A lot of things Birdie has if, he, if it's spaced correctly, no one can punish. Yeah. All right, nice punish there. I'm assuming that, oh. wow. Wow. And we are seeing... That, that was a Rob TV special right there. Yeah, <laughs> super disrespect. Okay, that one was actually close enough that he could have punished it. All right. When it's at a slow, neutral game, it's definitely in uh, Ocelot's favor, but... Nice. Oh, I think he's too... There we go, there we go. Wow! Oh! And he can kill off. Yeah, he he's gonna kill. He's gonna do it. He didn't need no to use both. Not to. He didn't need to use those bars, but hey, you 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 close it out. You close it out. Yep. Better safe than sorry. Really. Yeah, true. So Dash up sweep. It's interesting seeing him go for a lot of sweeps with Karen. Oh yeah. Basically, just saying, you know what? I know you're going to be walking, and I'm going to catch those boots, those Timberland boots. Oh, wow, he gets oh, up over it. Wow, just floated up behind him. Yeah. That was a, that was a wave dash. <laughs> That's that Dormammu right there. Uh oh. He, blocked, he can punish that. He didn't, he didn't know. Oh, he didn't know. No. That's only minus five on block. Karen Stan Fierce is seven frames. Meaty roundhouse. A roundhouse is so goddamn meaty, I'm gonna throw my next bowl of chili. Disgusting. <laughs> Do you see that sweet? Yes. He's gotten so much mileage out of it. Yes, he has. And it's not safe on block. He just knows he's gonna be walking. Yep. Again. Oh. Oh. Wow, look at that damage. One, you gotta guess. Wow, he actually oh, got the answer. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Just smacks these. Just smacks these to finish it off. It's like, shoot, shoot. Get out of here. Shoot. Hey, he's like Eric up. 1 0 over Ocelot U. Yo, if he can keep this up. Ocelot right. would be very angry if he oh, were yes. to lose to him two times in a row, two sets in a row. Ocelot moving to SoCal pretty soon. Yeah, it's going to be a sad day in Columbus FGC, That's but true. got to be happy, happy for our people, of course, going and uh, trying to get that extra experience to Wednesday night fights and all that. But hey, man, well, you did uh, top three at the Red Bull overall, right? Yes. 
Congratulations. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I would have come along. I, 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 I had to ask this weekend off for my girlfriend's event. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I would have been there otherwise. Okay. Okay. All right. So, GL going back to the traditional Karin costume. He wants to keep his mental momentum as well as his, uh, his actual score momentum. And he has that, that's that money green. Oh, yeah. How many people have played on English Manor today? Everyone seems to love that stage. I'm not the biggest fan. You know what? Uh, I, I, I bring I bring the, the stages that people want to play on. Right? Apparently, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's a really nice, like, Northern Lights thing going on there. That is. That, it, that, that's really beautiful. Now, to be fair, wow. they, just, they just swapped that bird in from another stage. Is that bird in from another stage? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's in yeah. well, Forgotten Waterfall, right? Yeah. Easily. Easily. Wow. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dash up. E EX Man Dash. Wow, the shimmy. Bam. Bam. Oh, nope. Couldn't catch him the last time. Oh, no. All right, big Didn't read. quite get out of the way. So much damage on that. Immediate sleep. Yo, this, this sweep brought to you by Cattleman's Ranch. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yep, he didn't have enough time to DP. That was nice. He tried to he racked it with V-Trigger, but he wasn't early enough to DP. GL just staring at that chain whip. He's like, I'm not throwing a fireball. I don't just... Oh gosh, don't cross oh. anything off a lot. Cross jab, just cross jab. Oh, nice. get the little porpoise. And in the end game, the just that cross up is so good. It's and got it, a big ass hit bomb. Yeah, at the end, just cross jab, man. Bernie's cross jab is so good. Oh, oh, okay, big jump oh, in. big opening, big opening. Now he has to guess when I wake up. PL needs to look out for that uh, head, the charge oh, yeah, head, but for sure, for sure. Nice jump in. Oh, wow, too far, way too far. Way fewer, uh, yeah, way, way more recovery frames than I thought that had. All right, Veer Brussels, oh. keep this corner pressure. You saw it, you saw it coming. Wow, oh. dash up. Did not have enough time to get out of the command ground though. Oh. Yo, wow, dude, the sweep. sweep. Oh, that was godlike. Oh, 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 oh. Is he gonna spend it? He's, He's saving the meter. Nice He's believing in himself. Says, nice wow. Fate, mate. Ends up saving the meter Woo. and it pays off. All right, we are at game point. Yeah. Match point. Match point, Match for, point. For, for GL. Yo, this, yo, add this wrinkle in. This man cannot see today. He forgot his glasses. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't have his glasses. He's doing this wow. On, on wow, that man just Boom. did. Wow, he just, that was not like. All right, back to, the, look at that, look at that. Look how patient he is. Yep, yep, yep. Sitting there. Oh, he having to jump, oh, big punish. Oh. All that meter on his side, and he's still yep. saving it. He, he might he try to save it until the critical arc to kill. Yep. He's trying to finish it with style. Yep. But, Ocelot not having it. Nope, nope, nope. GL's got to back off. He's way too close to stun. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. That might cost him the I don't know if he can kill without, without. Look at that damage, no bar, no bar. Ocelot not ready to go home. One, one. All right, GL's gotta keep his head if he wants to do this. Yeah. Both of them do, really. Yeah, I can see both of them possibly tilting a little bit right now. This is hard to call at this point. Yeah. Are they just going right in? All right. Oh, okay. Nice. There we go. Also, I'm trying to control that neutral. Oh, he's going to have to anti-air. Birdie's anti-air is very, well, very good. Nice jump. Oh, gosh. Look at oh. all that damage. 86 seconds left. All that damage. She's got more tricks, but... Oh, he blocked oh, the oh, bullhead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Side switch. Uh oh very nice. GL getting right back out of there. There is a very distinct danger zone when it comes to birdie. And you do not want to be in wow. like that. Look at that, there. that damn. kill, man. Damn. God damn. Nice command grab. That, his are command grab sure? is getting extra we, damage and V-Trigger. Yeah, I was like, are we sure that birdie does not have like the biggest moves in the game? Oh, birdie's, yeah. He's ridiculous. That was a great command grab. I really like how uh, off a lot the adjustments he's made. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. 
Oh, he tried to anti-air, but he gets to the other side. Doesn't get to convert into a combo. No punish on that sweep. Very unsafe. Oh, caught him trying to press the button or jump. Nice crush counter. What are we gonna see out of this? We're gonna get the dizzy. We're gonna save the meter. Oh, oh, oh through. There goes the dizzy bar. You gotta guess. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god! Oh, wow! Oh! That was godlike! It's happening! And we are going to the last round. Neither of these guys really have me to actually birdie almost has a bar. Wow, that was clutch. That was clutch. Last game, last round. One of these men are going home. Anti-air jab. I tell you what, the anti-air jab is definitely dangerous. You can't be beat out. Another sweep. Nice. Okay, with the with the aerial hit, stops him from. He didn't get the full thing. Yeah, that works out. Wow, that stayed on the same side. Worst way is he going? Other side this time. And dizzy. Oh no! He drops the combo. He's willing to let it go. He's willing to let it go. He's jumping in. Gonna be stupid and greedy. All right, All right we got a Oh, wow. A lot of patience. We got, got patience. We got patience. Birdie and V-Trigger, I mean, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Oh. oh, oh my God, one more read. Great air to air. All right. Oh, oh my another goodness. sweep. Oh. Another sweep. Very, very good set. Yo, that was some tense well played. action. Well played, guys. Well that was impressive. Yeah, we both that was godlike. Very good set there. Oh, it's good to see that camaraderie I'm, between I'm brothers. Noob, I'm noob noob up in here. God damn. God damn. That was disgusting. Yo, did you catch that? Did you catch that Broly Legs uh, dig at F Champ on Twitter? Yes. Yo, I was rolling. All right, guys, gotta go play my match. I'm All right, stream. good luck, Rob.